Welcome to Sonya Podcast. This is part two about the Asian, um, stop Asian hate. So, well, you know, millions of America are are about to leap into the summer, nearly unmasked normalcy. But inside Mandy Lynn's apartment in Philadelphia, Chinatown neighborhood, the lockdown drags on. Her nine-year-old son is struggling through the last lesson of fourth grade on a laptop while many of his classmates are back in school. His grandmother stays inside all day for exercise. Miss Lynn family pays their building parking lot or ventures to a nearby park. But it's not COVID-19 that's keeping the family from rejoining a bustling world of restaurants, schools, and public spaces. It's not safe to be outside, Miss Lynn, 43, said. There's just been unending violence and harassment. A surge in anti-Asian attacks during the pandemic is now holding back many Asian American families from joining the rest of the country and getting back to the normal. So we know schools are or not doing remote learning, company sums employees back to work and mass fly off people faces. Asian Americans said that America face to reopen is creating a new wave of worries. Not about getting sick, but whether they will be attacked if they venture back onto a bus or a cuss if they return to a favorite cafe or bookstore. In more than a dozen interviews across the country, Asian American details fears about their safety and illiteracy of precautions that have en- endeavored even as the country has reopened. Some people are still avoiding subways and public transportations. Others are staying away from restaurants. Some dread the return of businesses, travel, or the end of remote work. Their fears come as an attack continues. Stop AAPI hate. A coalition of communities and academic organization tracked more than six hundred and no six thousand six hundred attacks and other incidents targeting Asian Americans in Pacific Islands from March twenty twenty to March twenty twenty one. A survey this spring found that one in three Asian American words about becoming victims of hate crime, and while nearly three fifths of white Fourth graders are now back in class. Just 18% of their Asian American peers have returned to in-person learning, according to federal surveys. So, the problem is... Oh, here go another lady. This is her story. Her name is Ms. Zhu is fully vaccinated but says she's no longer takes the bus and does not know if she will ever again ride on it alone as she ventures back into the public spaces she feel more comfortable at asian markets like h mark or the 99 ranch mark in austin she worries about her parents in ohio who has gone back to commuting and taking art classes in downtown cleveland who's now on a gun for protection they messaged Ms. Zhu with concerns after six women of Asian descent was among eight people shot to death at a massage bar around Atlanta in March, killing that many Asian Americans demand political actions to address the spike in anti-Asian violence. In Philadelphia, Ms. Lynn is rattled by the stories of violence and verbal assault against Asian Americans that pop into her WeChat groups. A pregnant woman who was punched in the face, a 60-year-old man attacked not far from the Lynn's family apartment by someone shooting anti-Asian. A 27-year-old woman hit in the head without any warning or provocation. Miss Lynn worries about her son returning to school but fear he will fall behind. Miss Lynn worries about her son returning to school but fear he will fall behind. She don't want to ride the subway. She don't want to take the buses. She shops for food at nearby markets in Chinatown. Her husband brings home anything else they need from his supermarket job. And every school day, she sits behind her nine-year-old son who had autism to help him with his virtual learning. Miss Lynn is afraid he is falling further behind by not being around other students, but she had deep concerns about sending him back, his safety, the two-mile trip to the school, the fact that he cannot yet get vaccinated. So, but here is crazy from... February to March, there has been 3,800 
anti-Asian racism incident report mostly against women. So as I said in my earlier um, Stop the Asian podcast, Stop the Asian Hate podcast, is that we got to stop hate, period. You got to come together as people. Don't look at how different people are. Don't um, hate them because of something that you heard. Because like I said, we all heard that the rumors that the agents had brought COVID. But like I said in my earlier podcast, we don't know that for a fact. We really don't. And just stop hate, period. I, I, don't, I don't know how to keep saying that, that you have to stop hate. And I'd like to thank you for listening to my podcast. Please give it a five-star review on Speaker, Spotify, wherever you listen to your podcast at, please share. You can follow me at SON.IA 9795, Instagram, Sonia Santiago, Twitter, Sonia Santiago, Facebook, Sonia Santiago, Pinterest, Sonia Santiago, YouTube. You can leave a comment on this podcast, or you can leave a comment at SV766752 at gmail.com. You go to my website, http dot dot slash slash podcasters.com slash wordpresses.com, and have a blessed night.